So as you were gone, you can see right here Zarya Kraftis versus Tamor Rafiex in Tamor DM. DM recently dropping his triple eights. What round are we in? Is this winner's quarters? This is quarters, yeah. So uh, winner makes it in the top eight. Okay, so we got Sonic and Bayo. That's a little different. We already know about uh, DM and uh, Rafi. Yes. Yeah, and, and we know uh, that we know, SD. We know about uh, SD too. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we know a lot about uh, DM and Rafi. I think they had, like, they're like partial statics, I like to say, or at least in region statics. They like to the team all the time. I think the team is very different, but it works. Yes. Because Pikachu can rack damage and... Uh, Rob can 50 50 you. I don't even think it, it, it's uh, different. I think any character that's strong versus Pikachu, uh, with Pikachu, is it's amazing. Just, it just works. Yeah. Yeah. Because um, someone needs to kill. Zarya, actually, very impressive movement right now. You're yeah. seeing a lot of um, evasiveness. He's not getting hit too, too much, but Red Team generally. Actually, I was going to say he was. They were in the lead, but yeah. Rafi died at zero. Yeah, I guess Zarya is someone that would work really well with Kratos because Kratos is just so hyper aggressive. Oh, this is an up smash. He's so hyper aggressive, so you need someone on like on the team who can like cool down and be evasive. You know what yes. I mean? And right now we're gonna see a little uh, miss inputs coming in from the red team. It's yeah. really unfortunate. I'll see a bit of neutral play right there, but a double up smash coming from the guy who SD. Let's go. <laughs> we we were just talking earlier before you were here on how big that forward throw hitbox is. Ooh, that could be a really scary situation. Why did why did Kratos do that? Um, wait, Kratos do what? Kratos like upbeat up there. I guess he wanted to kill. Why? <laughs> he just messed it up. But, um... Yeah, both, both of them doing their multi-hit down throws. Yeah. Oh, my God. There's a... It's funny, because there's a lot of random instances in this match. Oh, uh, that's going to be death. Nice job from Tar. There's a lot of intra <coughs> instances in this match where uh, they're randomly playing neutral, but then there's just a whole bunch of, sl like, slugfests. Yeah. Uh, I mean, let's talk about DM, though. He's, like, still has three stocks. Yeah, he, he's an amazing stock tank, which is... Funny because he's the aggressor in the situation, right? You would assume that he'd be the aggressor. Raffi is usually, you know, the person who catches all the setups. But we see Raffi only having one, no stocks. Yeah. At all. Well, that's the thing about uh. Okay, he has need to do that, yeah. and I don't think that's that bad. It. Oh my god, that almost killed. Uh, yeah, it was pretty is worth he it. Hit again. Okay. No. Yeah, DM is definitely trying to be the MVP, the MVP for his team right now. But like, that's the essence of Pikachu. Like, he does the he does the damage. You can't hit him. You just can't kill. Which is exactly why Rafi's there. Ooh, Zarya right now is playing out of his mind. Yeah, it's funny. I feel like he's being more aggressive than uh, Kratos actually. Exactly. And he's getting all these kills. He's get, he's going out and he's catching all these things. Yeah. And if we can kill this Pikachu, it. I mean, I still think yeah. it's in um, Blue Team's favor right now. The way Zarya plays is strongly supporting Kraftus. I feel like Kraftus is the type of player, like, you can argue this for everybody, it's just different. Kraftus literally will just do better depending on who his teammate is. Yeah. Yeah. And right now, I don't think Red Team can afford these trades. Like I said, Blue Team might be in the lead right now, but if they could take the stock off of Rafi, Rau Rafi, uh, Rafi, Rafi. Yeah. yeah, this is definitely a uh, Blue Team in favored looking game so far. Uh, yeah, intercepting his partner right there, but I guess that's kind of a good thing because he was going way too deep with that. Yeah, get he could be dead. Uh, no, he's not dead. Good, good job getting out of there for a rob. Ooh. Beautiful back air and afterburner kick coming Did he from... take the first one? Oh, yeah. Rob Mains never took. That's what I've heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they knew they killed him after they hit him. Yeah, now this is going to be a very slippery game here because if Pikachu... Oh, my God, if he hit that. Uh, ooh, ooh, that was a really good one. That is, and that is a very bad wanted. partner option. Yes, uh, really bad miscommunication right there. That could cost them this game. Now it, it's funny that you mentioned that. I mean that this like happens because this is like when it goes out of doubles, and uh, we're seeing at two uh, really good players from our region mm -hmm. and two people who can beat each other. H have we seen this match? I have never seen Kratos versus DM personally. Uh, actually, I have never seen it either. No. I mean, they are from. Oh no, they're not from the same yeah, place. Kratos from Rhode from Island, Mass. and DM's from Mass. Yeah, but um. I don't know. I can see a struggle on both sides here. Wow, that was a beautiful spot dodge. Now, this is what we were talking about, seeing Pikachu rack up the damage. He's just kind of oppressing. Yeah, he's really oppressing uh, Kraftus, which is weird because that's what Kraftus likes to do. Yeah, Kraftus usually is the aggressor in most situations, and you see him now finally fighting back. Uh, Sonic doing a lot more damage than Pikachu does. Just, I feel like DM has been in the um, in the passenger seat for the most part, but it's still relatively even. Ooh, that was Ooh, a forward that, smash. Yeah, I think you could tell it kind of... Like, it kind of, like, he reacted to that really late. Oh, I he tried to like go for the air dodge read. Yeah. The mix-up. Uh, these are both characters who can't just always get the straight-up kill. Yeah. So they have to go for these mix-ups. Like that. Ooh, oh, my God. That, that, was, really that was a good attempt. Yeah. You're seeing all, like, this high-level play right now. This is great. 
the footsies right now, they're both respecting each other. Kraft is just running back and forth. They're like, no, I know you're gonna hold your shield. Yeah, oh my god, if he catches some quick attacking, it must be really hard for Kraft, for Sonic to catch Pikachu quick attacking. He doesn't really have any tools to like, he doesn't have like Fox up till or something, you know what I mean? See, but you usually see DM doing these quick attacks, and for the most part, DM's been staying in shield. I hope that Kraft just eventually picks up on that situation. In fact, beautiful spot dodge read. I think he noticed that he was having a really bad spot dodge habit there. I didn't notice it myself, but that might have been something that Kraft just noticed. See, I, I noticed it the first time, like right here. He rolled. He rolled. And then he tried going for it. I'd even, yeah, think, yeah, right there. Yeah, it's hard to deal with it. that move. Has amazing amount of range. Oh, force smash without a doubt. Yeah, that was really good. Kraft is almost screwing up game one for them. Luckily, he was able to, you know, clean that one out at the end. Yeah, definitely uh, something you look back on. Like, yeah, maybe I shouldn't kill you. <laughs> We're gonna run it back to FD, uh, DM, and Raffy. Understand that um, they were winning at the beginning. Things oh, yeah, got a little sure. hairy at the end. I um, think it was mainly, uh, I think it was, uh, what's his name? Uh, sorry, I'm sorry. Being so oppressive on uh, Raffi. Like, definitely just DM was stock taking so hard right there. And look at it, he's doing really good to help Raffi out. And that was a beautiful option. He actually got the soft. Ooh, that there. would have been interesting. He was going to up air after that, too. Yeah, yeah. the amount of uh, aggressive plays that we saw Zarya make in game one definitely helped them out. Yeah. Raffi has shown that he can handle crafters. Like, you see him trying to stay more towards him. But they need to have, like, they need to play this either, like, a complete 2v2 or, or uh, DM fighting Zarya. Yes. And I, I feel like DM in specifically is playing so much better. He's yeah. playing a lot more aggressive, and he's getting a lot of damage. Yeah. Beautiful jump read on a... Uh, uh, Raffi right there, reading Kratos' jump, getting that up there. He's gonna get two, he gets there. two boops. No, no beep, no, no beep, beep, just, just boop. boop. <laughs> All right, and that's really good. Yeah. Ooh. All right, so I feel like Kratos held uh, DM a little longer. I could be wrong. Uh, he held him a little longer, so uh, that combo could finish. Yeah, by the time that uh, DM was able to get up, he barely Yeah, missed. he tried up airing, but I don't think he hit him. And now that we see that Raffi isn't as steam this game, that we're seeing a lot better showing yeah. from Green Team. I mean, I apologize, Red Team. No, Green Team, we're color blind. Don't get me started. <laughs> oh, he teched it. Yeah, Ra teched it. Yep. Yeah, we're seeing a completely different game. This Red is, team is, this is more of what I'm guessing DM wanted because you see how everyone's even except for him. He's just like, yeah, I, I got stocks for days. And oh my god. And we're seeing um, Raffi stay away from Zarya. We're not seeing that. Yeah, and if he's there, Kraft, right um, if he's there, uh, DM is also there. Except for that time. Ooh, we can I, run away I love that how time, yeah. I love how relentless Zarya is. He just keeps trying to get in there. He will keep pushing that forward button. And he, he he's clicking down B three times. Uh, Zarya is a really, really funny one to watch in doubles. He goes for really crazy options. I guess for the simple see, he went he's going for which time five times within the last 30 seconds. Yeah. Uh, DM losing his first stock right now. Honestly, if um, if Red Team could take out the Blue Team stock right now like that, they're actually in a really good position. Yeah, Raffi just keeps staying away from Bayo. And because he's staying away, you're seeing a lot better situations. Because uh, Zarya got a lot of early kills on Raffi. He shouldn't be in there anyways. Honestly, he should have smashed. But he should have, like, he shouldn't be in there anyways. I feel like Rob's goal is to be annoying by, like, shooting lasers and gyro. And then really to get the kills every time uh, DM needs it, though. Good DI. I'm going away from that. Yeah, okay. See, DM realizes it like, oh, oh my, Rob can't tag. Share yeah, no stock. Yeah, DM realizes it, though. He's really trying to like get in there. That was a really big play for Blue Team right there, because they are way more in yeah, the game now. They definitely needed that. Still um, losing, but uh, very much in this. Yeah. Bayo is on the field here, and she can definitely still oppress Rob. You've seen how relentless Zarya is with them. It's really hard to uh, protect Rob in those situations. Rob is so big, and both of these characters have such a giant hitbox yeah. um, when attacking. So, yo, funny situation. That was really good. Yeah. Really good force match. And now he was already charging up by the time the grab came out. And now the red team is looking a lot better. Red team understood what was going on in game one and switched it up real quick, um, just like we are in the coming real soon. All right, but can they clean this out? That's the number one thing I want to see. Uh, this is really hard for Sonic. Yeah, I, I think with so the percents. Too. Ooh, I, I appreciate that situation right there. 
Yeah, especially with um, Rob being able to control that floor and Pikachu being able to move so, so much. It's going to be really difficult for him to move, but he's trying to find that rhythm right now. Oh, that was a weird forward yeah. smash. Two forward smashes away. What oh, the my heck was that God. one? Bro, I liked what he was going for there, but it just did not happen. That's Do the play. I want to call and say, oh, my God. Okay. Yay. Okay. All right. Town and City, um, I definitely do agree with. Ah, this is like a 50 50. This is going to be a rose with a lot of thorns. If you catch my drift, this is gonna be really good for blue this team. Is, no, this is this stage supports everybody but Pikachu. If you ask me. Um. Well, I don't think so because Pikachu's been robbed. Like, and all well, he yeah, needs is a back I, I mean, like solo wise. Well, of course, but at the end of the day, I feel like this could be a very scary situation for the blue team if um. Raffi and DM are able to get these confirms. This is a scary pick in general because Sonic is very good at killing on the top. It takes Raffi exactly. on the platform. Uh, Bayo's Bayo. She can kill you and anywhere. DM protecting Raffi throughout the entire That's his Witch job, time. bro. He knows that Raffi's playing a bad doubles character and he's just like, I can deal with this stuff. He's used to teaming with him. You saw that laser almost sniping? That was really good. What's that? That's nice. Yeah. yeah, right now, relatively even percents on both sides. Craft is dying to uh, DM's up smash, really nice. That's first gonna time be I super think, important. I think this is the first time we've seen uh, DM about to be the first one to die on the red team. That is true, yeah. DM playing a lot more aggressive. I kind of like that, though. I, I like seeing that. Rob is supposed to be the annoying yeah, one. Yeah, this is what's, how, this how it's supposed to be. He's supposed to be a base of get, like, poking you at the same time. Yeah. I would have jumped on that Ooh, blast. This is very <laughs> scary for Craft is. Uh, oh, he up B. He tried to get him all the way up there. Yeah, wow. He air dodged both of those up airs. He's running out of gas. You better be careful. He's not dead. Wow, Kratos is playing some very good uh, stage coming edge guarding and ledge trapping. I think Red Team in general is playing this so amazing. They're holding yeah. on to their stocks. This and is, oh, nice back air yeah, coming that, straight off the Asia platform. And nice all right, up smash. And just as I said, they were holding on to their stocks. Back to a relatively even game. Speaking of holding on to stocks, though, we're going to have to make sure Kraft holds on to his stock, though. Yeah, that's going to be super important to find out at the end of this game. I believe this is still 2 out of 3 as well. I, I don't think we're going to get to top 8. So, uh, I mean, yeah, I don't believe uh, it's going to be 3 out of 5 to the top 8. So this is going to matter exactly who's going to be on the winner's side. Yeah. Oh, uh, wow. Again, you know, Zarya on top of Raffi. We, we were seeing last game on how much that was working, but I think Raffi's just understanding how to avoid him in most situations. There's so many ladders going on. That's the beauty of Town and City, man. Ooh. I think that actually messed him up. I think DM being part of that combo could have uh, really messed up Blue Team. Yeah, Blue Team's slowly racking up damage. I feel like DM really can't get to move. And if DM can't move, then Raffi can. That was a really good down smash on Raffi's end, but Kratz is barely getting away from it. Yeah. Yeah, Blue Team's definitely turning up the heat right now. Ooh, and that's my what they God. have to do if they want to get this kill. Still living. Rob, a heavy boy, man. Kratz is just being so oppressive. He's like literally down smash. up smash. Ooh, up smash. Yeah, that was really nice. He got a little greedy right there. He was honestly playing very clean, and they just got greedy last second. Ooh, this could be really bad. Ooh, yep, Rob will back air. Sock. This game is tight. You, you definitely could say both players, uh, both teams are neck and neck. Without a doubt. These players These are neck and neck. Super close. They're neck and neck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was bad on Raffi not realizing that his partner got a grab. He tried to get in the back throw. That was a free death right there. Oh my god, Jairo into up smash. Yeah, right now, Kraft just really needs to be careful. Yeah. If he loses the stock, it's going to be basically curtains at this point. And he and lost. Zarya it. losing yep. it instead. And Kraft is losing his stock. Yep. And, and red like team, that. I mean, this is bail. This is possible. This uh, is bail, but this uh, is I don't Pikachu, know, man. Pikachu's just way too pokey. 45%. Oh, he's dead. All right, that's but one. He has another stock. That's one. Actually, yeah, this is really hard because she can ladder. Uh, she can ladder Raffi. But Pikachu can thunder. But Pikachu can literally do anything. Yes. And it's like the mix-ups are too simple. If she tries to hit, like if he tries to hit her, she's going to try to witch Dead. time. Oh, ah, come on, Raffi. Raffi's like, I want to lose. Did you not see me versus Sam all those times? Okay, never mind. All right, and we're going to have a... Uh, 
Red team taking it to uh, taking it home, and they're going to be the ones moving on through winners into winners semis. Good luck to blue team. They played well, but they're still losers. Yeah, that was an amazing game uh, for game three. It was super close, and all it took was two four throws and bada bing, bada boom. Yeah, man. Bro, I really hope I get to commentate more. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's fun having you. Without a doubt. All right, they might switch you both. Switch us both switch off. I'm not sure. Both. What time is it? What time does single start? Three? Four? Huh? Single start at three or single start at four? Uh...